Introduction to Benign Violation Theory Benign violation theory is a psychological concept that explains how humor works. It suggests that humor occurs when something is both perceived as a violation of social norms or expectations, and at the same time, is seen as harmless or benign. According to this theory, humor arises from situations where there is a tension between what we expect to happen and what actually happens. This tension creates a sense of incongruity or violation, which can be resolved through laughter when we realize that the situation is not actually harmful or threatening. The Three Elements of Benign Violation Theory There are three key elements to benign violation theory. The violation, the benign aspect, and the context. The violation refers to the behavior or situation that violates our expectations. The benign aspect refers to the fact that the situation is not actually harmful or threatening. And the context refers to the social and cultural norms that shape our expectations. For example, consider a joke about a taboo topic like death. The violation in this case would be the mention of death, which goes against our cultural norm of avoiding the topic. However, the benign aspect comes in when we realize that the joke is not actually promoting death or causing harm. And the context of the joke, such as the setting or the relationship between the people involved, can also influence whether it is perceived as funny or offensive. The Benefits of Humor Research has shown that humor has numerous benefits for individuals and society as a whole. For individuals, humor can reduce stress, improve mood, and enhance social connections. For society, humor can promote social cohesion, facilitate communication, and provide a way to address sensitive or taboo topics. However, it is important to note that not all humor is beneficial. Humor that relies on harmful stereotypes, promotes violence, or targets marginalized groups can have negative effects. It is therefore important to use humor responsibly and considerately, taking into account the potential impact on others. Applications of Benign Violation Theory Benign violation theory has numerous applications in various fields, including advertising, politics, and education. In advertising, humor can be used to grab attention and create positive associations with a product or brand. In politics, humor can be used to humanize candidates and make them more relatable to voters. And in education, humor can be used to engage students and facilitate learning. However, it is important to use humor appropriately in these contexts, taking into account the potential impact on different audiences. What may be perceived as funny or harmless to one group may be offensive or harmful to another group. Therefore, it is important to be mindful of the potential implications of using humor in different settings. Critiques of Benign Violation Theory While benign violation theory has gained popularity in recent years, it has also faced some critiques. One critique is that it does not account for individual differences in humor preferences and perceptions. Some people may find certain violations more humorous than others, depending on their personal experiences and backgrounds. Another critique is that benign violation theory does not fully explain why some violations are seen as more benign than others. For example, a joke about a taboo topic like death may be seen as benign in one context but offensive in another context. Further research is needed to explore the factors that influence perceptions of benignity in different situations. Conclusion Understanding Humor Through Benign Violation Theory In conclusion, benign violation theory provides a useful framework for understanding how humor works. By recognizing the importance of both violation and benignity in creating a sense of incongruity, this theory helps explain why we find certain situations funny and others not. Furthermore, by highlighting the role of context in shaping perceptions of humor, this theory emphasizes the importance of using humor responsibly and considerately in different settings. While there are still questions and critiques surrounding benign violation theory, it remains a valuable tool for exploring the complex and multifaceted nature of humor. By continuing to study and apply this theory, we can gain a deeper understanding of the role that humor plays in our lives and in society as a whole.